Okay, so let's continue, no? So, step up and step down transformers. So, for example, we have here the um, the turns ratio, no? Or the voltage ratio of our transformer. So, we have we have V1 over V2 is equal to N1 over N2, no? If our uh, N1 is greater than N2, same as our V1 is greater than V2, then this is a step up So this is a step up transformer. Okay. So because the um, output no is less than the input, no. Okay. No, this is not step up, but step down. So sorry for that. This is step down. Okay. If our N2 is greater than n1 so meaning the secondary turn is greater than the primary turn or the v2 is greater than the v1 so this is what this is the step up no? because our output no, is um, larger than the or greater than the input So, we will now be solving a problem that involves um, step up and step down transformer. No? So, we have here our example. Okay. So, we have just write first example here.
okay so we have this example so a 50 kV single phase transformer has 500 turns on the primary and 100 turns on the secondary so we need to uh, find uh, the primary is connected to 250 volts 50 hertz supply so we need to calculate the following okay so we have the secondary voltage on open circuit and the current flowing through the windings on full load so we need also to find the maximum value of the flux okay so the very first thing to do for us is to solve the secondary voltage in order for us to solve the secondary voltage we must first get the turn ratio so why the turn ratio because the given so we, ha we are given with the primary and the secondary turns no so from uh, from inspection itself no if you are going to determine if this transformer is a step up or a step down so our n1 is equal to 500 turns you now that is the turns of the primary and our n2 is equal to 100 so that will be the turns on the secondary so we could say that our n1 is greater than our n2 so if that's the case so going back going up no from our from this here we could say that our transformer is a step down transformer no? so this is a step down step down transformer so by that we could, we, we could now um, predict that our secondary voltage will be um, less than the Less than our primary voltage. No, from the given or from the problem also, we could uh, see no? that our primary voltage is A1 and A2. No? Our primary voltage. So because our primary is connected to the to a 2,500 2, volt supply, so that will be our primary voltage. Okay. So we need to find so for letter A so for letter A we need to find our secondary voltage. So how we are going to find our secondary voltage? So we just use the turns ratio so uh, like I said earlier so we have uh, N1 over N2 is equal to A1 over a2 now solving for a2 you could say that that will be a2 is equal to a1 so cross multiply over uh, times n2 over n1 so substituting so our e sub 1 that will be 2500 volts our n sub 2 that is 100 turns so the turns of the secondary over um, over the turns for the primary, the N sub 1, that will be 500 no? turns. Okay, so cancel, cancel. So by using our calculator, okay, so you can also use your calculator if you have your own calculator there. No? So we have. 2,500 times 100 over 500 that will be equal to 500 volts okay so this will be our um, E sub 2 or the secondary current now for letter B we need to find the current flowing through the windings on full load no? so in full load we will use our kva rating no? kva rating no? the kva rating is as given that will be equal to five uh, 50 no? 50 kva no? okay 
so solving for the solving for the primary current no that will be our a sub 1 okay but uh, let's just have first the a review on the um, on ac circuit no so when we say va no that will be the apparent power that will be volt ampere so that will be equal to the voltage times the current no so that will be our apparent power no um in circuits too if you remember pretty well so it is usually denoted as s no that is the apparent power then q we have the the q is the reactive power and p is the real power so s so s will be volt ampere so it we it we are going to solve for the primary current so we could say that our We could say that our A sub 1 no, is equal to, it will be equal to S, no, S over A sub 1. Now, our S here will be the KVA rating. Okay? So, we just substitute that one. So, that will be 50 KVA or we could have the one as 50,000 volt ampere over our given E sub 1 which is 2500 volts so cancelled out so we will left with amperes as our unit no so using your calculator so we have 50,000 divided by 2500 and that will be equal to 20 amperes no? so our full load current for the primary is 20 amperes now how about for the secondary huh? Okay, so for the secondary, we could say that again our S, no, the 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 KVA or the VA for the primary is equal to the KVA on the secondary because from the definition of transformer, so a, trans, a transformer trans, transfers power from one circuit to another, so there is no change on the power itself, no. Assuming that our transformer, we will not consider the uh, the losses no uh, um, as we go on with our discussion on these subjects we will be also considering the losses of a transformer but if you are going to um, assume as an ideal transformer so what is the v the kva rating on the primary will be also the kva rating on the secondary and besides the efficiency of a transformer is 90 to 95 percent efficient so there is more or less five percent difference no on the actual if you are going to have a practical transformer so we could have that one as the apparent power times again the voltage then we will have um, the i sub 2 no? this will be s over e sub 2 okay then 50,000 no? volt amperes all over 2500 ano the secondary voltage is 500 volts no so as we have solved earlier so this one so this is 500 volts so cancel cancel so that will be equal to so 50000 divided by 500 that will be equal to 100 amperes so you have now your secondary and your primary full load current no? okay then the last one is the maximum uh, maximum value of flux no? the maximum value of flux okay so maybe we could write here no letter c so i run out of space no 
So going back to the um, a EMF equation of our transformer, so we have this one, 4.44, then the frequency, this is the maximum flux, no? Then, the maximum flux, then times the, so that will be, the number of thirds. So because we are on six, uh, because we are um, considering the primary, so we will have here this one as the primary terms also because it's the primary voltage. Now solving for your solving for your um, maximum flux, no maximum value of flux. So that will be equal to E sub one over four point forty four F n sub 1. No? Substituting, so we will have our A sub 1 that will be 2,500 volts over 4.44 times 50, no? 50, that is 50 hertz, our frequency. No? So the supply voltage is, the supply is 250 volts, 50 hertz. So our frequency is 50 and our primary turn is 5 okay so using again your calculator so you, you can now solve for your maximum value of flux so we have 2500 over 4.44 times 50 times 500 and you will have so, 0 0.225. 0 0.0225. And the unit for that is Weber. Okay? So, we have now our secondary voltage, the primary and the secondary current for uh, at full load, and our maximum value of flux. Uh, so, 